translation. When there is an increase of unwanted population, a hellish situation is created both for the family and for those who destroy the family tradition. In such corrupt families, there is no offering of oblations of food and water to the ancestors. When there are unwanted children, uh, then the family tradition, the family obligation, they are all forgot. At the present moment, uh, nobody knows that after death there is life and still such life is connected with the family, the forefathers and the descendants. Nothing of this science is known at the present moment. More or less exactly like animals, that's all. An animal has no such feelings or connection. Simply, the number of days you live, you eat, sleep, have sex life, and die. That's all. Uh, this uh, certain regulation of family, family connection is unknown at the present moment. And still, they are very much proud of advancement of knowledge. So unwanted children, uh, as we have discussed in the previous, Pradhasanti Kulastriya, if uh, the owner, Kulastriya, family, uh, family owner and prostitute are different. Uh, still in India, the uncontrolled owner or there is a class of prostitutes. They are not family of But Kulastriya, family of men, they have got so many obligations. <coughs> there is a verse that uh, Sargatha hmm, Kama Moksha Dara Samprati Hitava. Dara means wife. Wife can help one to be elevated to the heavenly planets. And Dharmatha Kama to become helpful in the matter of advancement in religious and spiritual knowledge. Dharma Artha, economic development. Karma, uh, satisfying the husband uh, for sense gratification, dharma to come and moksha also, also for salvation. Uh, the wife is so important. If there is just wife, she can help the husband in these four principles of life. Dharma to come moksha, dara samprati hetava. Can train up nice wife, uh, or <clears throat> the society trains the girls to become nice wife. Uh, he becomes a great source of energy to the husband. Dharma Tapama Mukshaya Dara Sampra. And if they are polluted, they become source of the uh, Sankara, Varna Sankara. The exact example of Barna Sankara is the hippies at the present moment. All over the world, uh, not only in the Western countries, but in India also. Uh, so, the population, hippie population means Sankara population. So, the increase of such population means Narakaiva. Nara, Hevis. Hevis condition of life in this life, also in the next life. 
at that time to live actually we are a practically seen in this end year especially in calcutta it has become a hellish life the population the younger generation uh, is so polluted so contaminated that you cannot safely walk in the street uh, anywhere the young boys they can encircle you and rob you you cannot say the police cannot help the government cannot help so these unwanted children uh, without being trained up in the bonnasam system they become the cause of hellish life in this uh, life also after death after death according to vedic regulation punda uh, udaka punda offering vishnu prasadam and water at least once in a year it is required uh, by the family members and according to vedic culture there is one month fixed up in a year when all people will offer pindo and udaka to the poor people tarpan tarpan week or fortnight for one fortnight uh, so the idea is we eat the poor father in that family has not achieved a proper life sometimes due to sinful activities too much attachment a man become ghost ghost there is ghost bhut prit bisach uh not only this life demonic life but after death also uh, there are ghost life uh, <clears throat> they do not get this ghost body the demand in the subtle body mind intelligence and ego uh, due to their gross sinful life they punished by not getting a gross life because without getting a gross life we cannot enjoy with mind i cannot enjoy rasagulla uh, i must have the tongue i must have the hand fingers i can pick up then in the mind i may think of uh, eating or collecting rasgulla but actually i do not give the test uh, so gross body is required because every living entity uh, in this material world they have come to enjoy krishna bhuliya jeev bhog vancha kare Asate mahatare jabotiyada. This is the beginning of our material life. When we forget uh, to render service to Krishna, immediately we get a material body offered by the material nature. Pravite kriyamana ni gunai karmani sarvasa aham karvi muratma katta aham iti mandra. So this God's body is required. But in the other, uh, spirit, spiritual body is also very subtle, uh, and the astral body or subtle body is also very subtle. The gross body required. So, on account of one's uh, severe sinful life, he does not get this gross body. Therefore, the lupta pindu da taktiya. Uh, taking for uh, granted that some of my forefathers have become ghostly like or has not got the gross body by this uh, pindu daka. Pindu means offering prasadam, a Vishnu prasadam. Still in India there is a place Gaya. There is Vishnu temple and. 
it is a custom all Hindus nowadays they do not go, they do not believe even. Uh, they have given up everything. <coughs> Due to unwanted children, they don't care for it. What is family, what is Hindus or uh, simply eating, being many in India. That's all. Uh, but you see, five thousand years or John or John was not a Brahmin. A neither a sannyasi, a grihastha, householder, and a uh, in the royal order. He is on the battlefield. He is not a Vedantist. But just see how his knowledge is perfect. Uh, this is Vedic culture. One may not be a Brahmana. Brahmana is very advanced. Uh, Chattasamadamatidikha, but even Chattriya, they are also so advanced. So advanced you can see that he is hearing Bhagavad Gita from Krishna in the battlefield. How much time you can spare in the battlefield? The talk took place between the two soldiers when he was just going to throw his arrow. Shastra Sampati just was going to, he became very compassionate. Krishna, I have to kill my own kinsman. And he is describing. Uh, he is describing the, what kind of sinful activities I am going to do. So, just try to understand how much people were advanced. These Bhagavad Gita talks took place between Krishna and Arjuna. <coughs> In the battlefield, just on the verge of his beginning the battle. So how much time he could spare? At most half an hour, not more than that. So within half an hour, this Bhagavad Gita was taught to Krishna and he could understand it and then he agreed to fight. Yes, Nastra Maha Sitting Lambhya, Parishseva Chanantra. How much advanced you are in education and learning, just imagine. Uh, at the present moment, they are reading Bhagavad Gita uh, years after years, big, big scholars, big, big uh, theologians, and, but they cannot understand. Uh, after reading Bhagavad Gita, they are accusing Krishna as immoral. One professor in Oxford University, he is a student or professor of Bhagavad Gita or has written work. Now his conclusion is that Krishna is immortal. That means he could not understand Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita cannot be understood by any Juma or third class man that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna said uh, to Arjuna that I am speaking to you the same Bhagavad Gita science of God which I spoke millions of years ago to the sun God because the parampara is lost and I have picked up you because Bhaktosi me Priyosi, you are very dear friend and Bhakti. So, Bhagavad Gita is not meant for the demons or the avakas. No. The first condition is that he must be a devotee of Krishna. Then it will be revealed. Otherwise it is not possible. Nāham prakāsa sarvasya yuga māyā samābhita Namāna guskudana mūrā prabhaddhante nādhava These things are there. So, if one is devotee of Krishna, he can understand Bhagavad Gita very easily, just like Arjuna understood within Havana. All uh, they cannot understand. In one sense, the people at that time were so educated, advanced, that they could talk about the absolute truth and understand within half an hour, one hour. There was no need of books in those days. 
people were so sharp memory. One shot from the spiritual master, they will never forget. Uh, they, with the advancement of Kali, so many things will reduce. One of them is the memory will be reduced. Uh, people will be weaker. There will be no more mercy. The brain will not be so powerful or sharp. These things are described. So we cannot even imagine what kind of brain Arjun possessed. Another thing, this Bhagavad Gita is part of Mahabharata. And the Mahabharata was written by Sri Sudra Vijayabandhuna Traina Suti Gochara Sri Ome Sri Sudra and Vijayabandhu. Vijayabandhu means a person born in high family, Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya. At least Brahman, Chhatri. But he is not qualified. Brahmana Chhatri. He is called Vijayabandhu. The friend of the twice born. The Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya. They are twice born. One birth is father and mother. Another birth is by the spiritual mother. Uh, by Vedic knowledge. The Vedic knowledge is mother and the spiritual ma- master is the father. So the second birth. Therefore they are called Vijay. Twice born. So, Vijayabandhu uh, those who are not actually twice born, but born in the family of Vijaya. Therefore they are called Vijaya Bandhu. Not Vijaya. Uh, friends of the Vijaya. Vijaya Bandhu. Uh, one may become a friend of the Vijaya. One may become a son of a high court judge. But that does not mean he is high court judge. Uh, but now they are taking because my father is Brahma, therefore I am Brahma. No, that was not accepted. Your father may be Brahmana, but if you are not qualified a Brahmana, you cannot be called a Brahmana, you can be called Dijavandhu. Uh, so this Mahabharata was written, Sri Suddha Dijavandhana, Trahina Suti Godad. Uh, Oman and Dijavandhu and the Sudra. Uh, it is very difficult for them to understand the Vedic literature directly uh, because they have no advanced knowledge or education. Therefore, the same thing, the Vedic knowledge was described in the Mahabharata because it is history. Everyone is interested to read history. But through history, uh, the Vedic knowledge was imparted. Therefore, Mahabharata is called the fifth Vedas. There are four Vedas. Sam Juju, Vigathabha, and Mahabharata is fifth Veda. That went for the Sri Shuddha Dejavan. So, Bhagavad Gita is within the Mahabharata. But actually, it was meant for the less intelligent class of man. But at the present moment, the highest intelligent class of man cannot understand. Just see the difference. Uh, formerly, 5000 years, this was meant for the less intelligent class of man. And we, are, we have deteriorated so much that the so called highest intelligent class of man cannot understand this Bhagavad Gita. Uh, and he is posted as the professor in the Oxford University. So this class of men are leading the society. Uh, the third class, fourth class men, they are leaders. Andhaja uh, So now we are talking with so many big, big persons, guests coming daily. But actually we can see yeah, how much the third class, fourth class men practically blind, they are leading the society. That we can understand. Therefore, the social order is just like Arjun is describing here. Sankaro Naraka Viva Kula Khanan Kula Who knows this? Who knows this science? Huh? The Sankara, 
Narakaya. If you produce unwanted children, U.S. pumps symbol children, then the whole world will be in hellish condition. He is caring for that. The world is in hellish condition. We can perceive, but they are trying in a different way. They want to remain demons. At the same time, they want to become leader. So, at the present moment, comparing. Uh, the social status five thousand years ago, according uh, to Darwin's theory, five thousand years ago, men were uncivilized, uh, uncivilized. Now, this literature is written by uncivilized men. You see, uh, so highly intellectual writing, they were uncivilized. Now they have become civilized. Uh, that is Darwin's theory. We are not making progress. Uh, uh. So, mm. uh, Arjun said, "The patamti vitarad hi isa lukta pindu da pindu da pa." In Calcutta, there was a big uh, scientist. Uh, his name was Sir P. C. Ra. You are speaking in a uh, who is it? Is number one. You are speaking. That is a pindu daka. By offering pindu prasadam and water, if it goes to my poor father, so just uh, give me to eat downstairs, whether I can eat upstairs. Uh, this reason, uh, but he does not know that. Ah. Uh, How much there are different types of eating. Uh, uh, they do. They do not know there is eating in the subtle body also. Uh, the ghost also they eat, but the method is different. Uh, so even a big scientist speak like that, then how the ordinary people just just answer it is sister, low cost of no matter. If you so call advanced education, they speak so irresponsibly. Naturally, others will follow. But for at the present moment, the whole generation is covered with ignorance and darkness, no clear knowledge. And without clear knowledge, whatever we do, just like in darkness, whatever we act, that is simply. Uh, embezzlement. That's all. It is not very correctly understood. Therefore, we have no correct knowledge, no correct activities, and, and the result is not a good one. So, I can read next verse. Doshari taikulagna na, doshari taikulagna na, varna sankura karakai, varna sankara karakai, udsadyanti jati dharma, udsadyanti jati dharma, kula dharma shchashvata, kula dharma shchashvata. Translation. Due to the evil deeds of the destroyers of family tradition, all kinds of community projects and family welfare activities are devastated. So, jati dharma, jati, nowadays it has been taken as national, but here jati dharma means just like one is born in Brahmana jati. Patriya jati, Bhushya jati, Sudhir jati. So each jati, they have got different types of responsibility. So when the unwanted children, irresponsible children, they do not follow anymore the tradition, the family tradition or jati dharma. So they create a class of population in Burma Sankar. So everything becomes topsy-turvy, very spiritual. And actually, it has so happened. Now there is no more jati dharma. Uh, everyone is engaged somehow or other to fill up the belly. Uh, 
Formally, formally there was stitcha. The, the Brahmana, the Kshatriyas and the Vaishyas, these three are caste. Uh, there are certain restrictions. The Brahman would not do this. Or the Brahmana must do this. Uh, that is called Jati Dharma. Uh, the Brahman cannot accept service from anywhere. I have discussed many times. Uh, the Chatri also cannot. And Vaishya Bhala. Only the Sudras can become servant of others. Purichajatmakam kajam sudra karma sabhav. But at the present moment, nobody can observe the strict rules and things that I am born in a Brahmin family, I cannot accept anyone's service. Uh, then you will have to start starve uh, because he has no Brahminical capacity uh, by education, by culture. He is a Shudra, although falsely he is claiming that he is a Brahmana or a Chatriya. So if he is Jati Dharma, family, tradition, family, family rituals, everything is lost uh, due to these unwanted children. Unwanted children uh, makes everything topsy turvy So Arjuna is visualizing all the future uh, calamities. But there is one remedy. It is a fact that uh, jati dharma we have lost. Uh, no more we can be called strictly uh, following the jati dharma. No more can uh, present himself strictly as a Brahman or Kshatriya. Everything is lost now uh, by the influence of Kali uh, and Varna Shankara. So there is only one remedy, only one remedy, that is uh, stated in Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th canto. Devarsi Bhutata Ninana Pitrinam Nakunkara Nayam Rumi Charaja Sarbat Manaja Saranam Saranyam Gatu Mukundam Parihutta we must admit that we have created hellish condition of society by producing unwanted children and uh, disobeying the jati dharma or kula dharma. That one has been everyone. So, what is the remedy? Uh, only remedy is to surrender to Krishna. Krishna also says, Krishna is canvassing. That even you can give up your jati dharma, but simply surrender unto me. I shall give you protection. There is another verse in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Tattva sadharmam charanam bhujam hare. Sadharma. Sadharma means jati dharma. So I am, a, I am born in a Brahmin or Chatriya, so I have got sadharma. A Chatriya or Brahman has got his own regulative principle. So Bhagavad Narada says, Bhagavad says in Narada says, that if one has given, her, given up his Jati Dharma, because Krishna is asking, Sarva Dharma and Pritkach. Sarva Dharma means the Sadharma, Jati Dharma, or so many other dharmas man created. For the uh, nice keep up of the society, just like we create, even in the modern world, so many rules and regulations. Take for example, that one must keep to the left. Just to keep order in the society, there are so many things. Uh, so Jati Dharma, Kula Dharma is also like that. Uh, spiritually, it has no value. Uh, it, it can help one to be elevated on the spiritual platform, but uh, spiritual advancement uh, does not depend on this jati dharma or kula It does not depend. Uh, uh, even without uh, 
following the rules and regulation of jati dharma and kula dharma one can become advanced in spiritual life ah ahi tuki aprati hata if one is serious to become krishna conscious that all these material impediments cannot check him uh, anyone can be gone chat chat sapacho that is uh, मंत्र तंत्र विशारदा मंत्र तंत्र विशारदा अवैष्णव गुरु न शस्या सात वैष्णव सपचो गुरु मंत्र तंत्र विशारदा वन इज वेरी एक्सपर्ट इन जाति धर्म बट इफ इज नॉट ए वैष्णव इफ इज नॉट ए डिवोटी अब लॉर्ड विष्णु वैष्णव मीन विष्णु अस्त देवता वन हु हैज एक्सेप्टेड There are many demigods, devotas. Uh, so sometimes uh, they are advised that if you want this result, then you worship this demigod. Uh, a little bit, uh, it is said that if you want a beautiful wife, so you worship Uma, uh, Uma, the wife of Lord Shiva. Uh, she is very beautiful. Uh, So similarly, if you want uh, learning, then you worship such and such devi god. If you want money, then you worship such and such devi god. These are their, uh, I mean, say, mm-hmm. orders um, in the Vedic literature. Uh, but uh, if you want to get relief from this material condition of life, then you have to take to shelter. Or Vishnu, Vishnu, uh, uh, or the Shastra says, even if you have got other desire to fulfill, still you become Vishnu. Uh, that is the last instruction. You don't require to worship other demi gods. In the Bhagavad Gita also it is said, "Tamas tasya hitogyana jayanti anna devata." If one is uh, builder. On account of lusty desire, they go to different demigods for begging some benefits. Uh, so they are hitogyana. Hitogyana means lost of intelligence. If Krishna is the supreme, so suppose if you want some material happiness, can he not give you? He can give you also. So why should you bother about other demigods? Therefore, it is said, "Tamas tasya hitogya." Uh, if Krishna is the supreme Lord, so if I have got some desire, material desire, actual bhakti means minus all material. Anna vilasita sumla. What must be free from all material desire? But even if I have got some material desire, still uh, you can take shelter of Krishna. Uh, you don't require to take shelter of other devas. So that is the. Last instruction in the Vedic literature: Akama sarva kama ma moksha kama udaradhi yubri na bhakti yubri na jajita paramatu. Akama means devotee. Devotees are no desire. They have got desire just to become devotee of Krishna. That is natural. Uh, if the if, if the sun desires that I shall. The obedient son of my father. That is natural desire. All the son desires that I shall depend on my father and I shall be happy. That kind of desire is natural desire. Similarly, uh, if one desires that I shall become a devotee of Lord Krishna, that is natural desire. But when I desire to lord it over the material nature and forget. My service to Krishna, that is called bhasma. Uh, that is material desire, uh, avilas. Uh, so we have to give up this material desire. Then it is bhakti. Anna avilas kasanam, gyan karma dana abhidam, anukuli na Krishna. So even if we have violated the jati dharma and kula dharma, that is a fact. We have done so. Uh, there is no denying this fact. Everyone of us have done. Then, what is the next 
due to your remedy, because you have violated everything. So that for that purpose, the Bhagavad gives you direction. Here is verse. Devasi Muta Nam Ninam Pitri Nam Pitri Pitri Pinda Gaku Kya. So we are obliged to offer Pinda and water to the Pitris. But here is an what is called outlet. Devasi, we are indebted to the Devatas. Rishi, we are indebted to the great sages. Devasi. Deva Rishi Bhutana, we are indebted to so many other living entities, Bhutana and Nina, we are also indebted to the human society, Nina, Pitrina, we are indebted to the Pitris, forefathers, Pitrina. So, Nakunkara, Nayam Vinicharaja, one becomes free. From the servitude of all these personalities, Devarsi, Bhuta, Kuminam, Pitrinam, how you can become? Sarvatmanaja Saranam Saranam. One who has fully surrendered unto the lotus feet of the Lord. Saranyam. Saranyam means here is the real place where one can surrender fully. Others, if I surrender to cats and dogs, what he help me? Therefore, they are not surrendered, but by mistake, if they take shelter of such cats and dogs, what benefit we get? Therefore, surrender, the worthwhile surrender is to the lotus feet of Mukunda. Therefore, it is said. Sarvātmanāja saranam saranam gacu mukundam pariyutti kattam. We have got so many duties, but in this age we have lost everything. Therefore our only duty is to surrender unto the lotus feet of mukunda, Krishna. That will save us. Krishna says, it is not story, Krishna says, aham kāṁ sarva pāpi bhamat khaishan. I know that you have violated your family tradition, your past regulations, everything you have done, for which you have to be punished, sinful activities. But I give you an assurance. If you surrender unto me, then Ahamkva Sarvapapu Dhamakush, I shall give you deliverance from the all the action of sinful activities. Therefore, at the present moment, because we have lost all culture, we have done so many sinful activities. If we want to be saved, it is the only remedy is to surrender to the lotus feet of Krishna and thus become saved. Thank you.